Hello, I'm Horror Queen Cosplay, and this is my cosplay of Yaga from the video game Blacktail. The entire costume took me just over 70 hours, spread over the course of several months. Most of the materials of this costume I had on hand, so it was a really, really great de-stasher for me, and I ended up spending less than $100 total on the costume. Starting with the wig, it is a light purple wig that has uh, light pink wefts sewn into it for extra volume and additional colors. There are several conflicting references for this character, so I ended up cherry picking the reference elements of each reference that I liked, whether it be from the video game, the trailers, or the uh, concept art for this character. And frankly, her hair changes shades across multiple references, so I wanted to have a nod to some of the pinker shades that she has in her re reference art. The entire wig was then braided by me and has magnets on the insides in order to attach the mask that I made for this costume to the wig. The character wears several masks throughout the game. It's a huge aspect of her character to hide her birthmark, which was created with liquid latex makeup. And so I wanted to have a ability to take the mask on and off very easily, as well as create other masks from the game later on down the line. The mask was made using spare EVA and craft foam uh, covered in spare warbler that I had on hand. Uh, while the warbler was warm, I took my hands and wrinkled the warbler to create somewhat of a warped wood texture. And with a combination of matte and shiny paints, I tried my best to create a look that made it seem as if it was a wooden mask painted by an orphan in the woods. The bow was created with a wooden dowel covered in aluminum foil and then EVA foam clay and then further painted. The crow foot on the bow was created with EVA foam clay as well. And the tablet weaving on the bow, which is a weaving technique that dates back to medieval Europe using cards and turning them through a makeshift loom, was a bit of a diff was a bit of a challenge for me physically because my carpal tunnel started to get really really painful so after doing some tablet weaving i moved into a braided pattern and attached to the bow now the bag that she has was constructed by me and the pattern hand drafted entirely by me it is lined with quilting batting on the inside and has velcro also my very first time ever making tassels and it is a fully functional bag, oh, and one that I'm super excited to use at the convention because I never ever have pockets or bags as part of my cosplays. The belt was also made using foam clay and EVA foam, along with some spare pleather fabric and Velcro. The wristlet was also used with spare pleather fabric, as well as the uh, glove that she has on her left hand as well. And the nails were fake nails that I bought white and then painted myself. As for the main garments, the cloak was also hand drafted as well as the dress. The pants were the only thing made using a commercial sewing pattern and are just some basic cotton. Uh, the patterning on the cloak was made using liquid earth paints and painter's tape, and I would take a paper towel, put a little dab of the liquid earth paint on it, and then rub onto the fabric. And because I did it on my wood floor, it created this really, really nice patterning thanks to the wood texture I was rubbing on top of. And it was also hand embroidered as well, same as the bag and the dress. The dress is actually just one piece. I created a false inner white layer that separates with Velcro, mainly because I didn't want to get overwhelmed with too many fabric layers and get potentially overheated at the convention, and has a separating zipper on it as well. Finally, the moon charm on the cloak was made using EVA foam and warbler as well. All in all, this was a very, very lovely, all in all, this was a very lovely project for a game that I wish more people talked about and really, really enjoyed when it came out in December at the end of 2022. 